the blood of the holy martyrs was poured out for Christ upon the earth. Therefore, they have gained everlasting rewards. We are gathered in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Very good morning, dear sisters and brothers in Christ. Good morning, Bishop. Today we celebrate the memorial of two groups of martyrs. First, we have the College General Martyrs. College General is the seminary in Penang. Yeah. Before that, it was in Thailand. It started in India, then moved to Thailand and uh, Vietnam, I think, and then finally settled in Malaysia. So some of the French fathers were killed for their faith about 300 years ago. And the second group of martyrs are the Korean martyrs. Eh? And they were killed for their faith also around two, three hundred years ago. So the martyrs are examples of their light shining in the dark. Eh? They give up their lives uh, to proclaim the weakness to their faith. May they inspire us always. Let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries by first acknowledging our sins as we turn to the Lord for His mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and, and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned. sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to increase your adopted children in all the world, and who made the blood of the martyrs, St. Andrew Kim and companions, a most fruitful seed of Christians, grant that we may be defended by their help and profit always from their example. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ezra. In the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, to fulfill the word of the Lord that was spoken through Jeremiah, the Lord roused the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, to issue a proclamation and to have it publicly displayed throughout his kingdom. Thus speaks Cyrus, King of Persia, the Lord, the God of heaven, has given me all the kingdoms of the earth. 
he has ordered me to build him a temple in Jerusalem, in Judah. Whoever there is among you of all his people, may his God be with him. Let him go up to Jerusalem in Judah to build the temple of the Lord, the God of Israel. He is the God who is in Jerusalem. And let each survivor, wherever he lives, be helped by the people of that place with silver and gold, with goods and cattle, as well as voluntary offerings for the temple of God, which is in Jerusalem. Then the heads of families of Judah and of Benjamin, the priests and the Levites, in fact, all whose spirit had been roused by God, prepared to go and rebuild the temple of the Lord in Jerusalem. And all their neighbors gave them every assistance with silver, gold, goods, cattle, quantities of costly gifts, and with voluntary offerings of every kind. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. What marvels the Lord worked for us. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. Our, on our lips there were songs. What marvels the Lord worked for us. The heathens themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them. What marvels the Lord worked for us. Indeed, we were glad. What marvels the Lord worked for us. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage, as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. What marvels the Lord worked for us. They go out, they go out, full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back. They come back, full of song, carrying their sheaves. What marvels the Lord worked for us. Alleluia. Your light must shine in the sight of men, so that, seeing your good works, they may give the praise to your Father in heaven. Alleluia. Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, No one lights a lamp to cover it with a bowl or put it under a bed. No, he puts it on a lampstand so that people may see the light when they come in. For nothing is hidden, but it will be made clear. Nothing secret, but it will be known and brought to light. So take care how you hear. For anyone who has will be given more. From anyone who has not, even what he thinks he has 
will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So the first reading is taken from the book of Ezra. Uh, this is a book written about the return from the exile. The people of Israel were sent to exile in Babylon in 587 BC. And uh, when a new king took over, they were allowed to return after roughly about 50, 60 years in exile. Not all of them returned because many of them have settled down and prospered. So only a handful of Jews returned. And we see how God made use of a pagan king Cyrus as his instrument to allow his people to return and rebuild Jerusalem. In the Gospel reading, we have the parable of the Lamb. And this parable continues the parable of the sower. Jesus was giving the parable of the sower about how a sower went out to sow the seed and the seed fell on different types of soil and produces uh, plants, uh, grain. So here the teaching is uh, the lamb must shine as a light. Nobody lights a lamb and try to hide it. The purpose of the lamb, the light, is for everyone to see so that the light can dispel the darkness. So too, as Christians, we are asked to shine, especially in areas where Christ or His values are not yet known. Yeah, so as Christians, we have to live like Christ. We have to live His values. We have to promote the kingdom of God. And so in a situation where there is maybe less forgiveness or less charity, uh, or where there is even no love, as Christians, we are like the Lamb. We have, are asked to shine so that uh, the situation can have a little bit more love uh, or charity or forgiveness or service. So we are the Lamb. And the Lamb is lighted so that it gives light so that everyone can see clearly. But sometimes we ourselves are broken, we ourselves are darkened by sins, so we are unable to shine. And we shine not for ourselves as a lamb, we give the light not for ourselves but for others. So this is our Christian calling. We are the light of the world, we are the salt of the earth. So we are asked to give flavor uh, illuminate, give meaning to life, especially when life seems to be full of suffering and pain. So as Christians, we know that uh, God has His ways uh, and that the best thing is to surrender to God. And God will work something out, even from the pain, even from the darkness. But we have to trust in Him. We have to let God lead. Yeah? If we use a standard of the world, our own standard, of course we will all reject suffering. Uh, we don't want to have any pain. We don't like failure. But God is in charge, not us. So remember this, uh, that as Christians, we are asked to give flavor as salt of the earth, as light of the world, to the situations around us, to the people around us. Of course, always with respect, because we respect 
uh, the rights of the person, whether he or she accept, believe or don't believe. We cannot force. But as a light, as the lamb, uh, it is our responsibility to shine where in places where there is a little love, let us shine so that there is more love, more warmth, uh, to be more caring, helping people to be more caring, more concerned, and more charitable towards one another. And so this is our Christian vocation. We are not showing off. We are simply doing what we are supposed to do, to be the light, so that it brings a little bit of more brightness to the world around us. It can cheer people up, lead them to Christ, uh, and of course, share our love and concern and our care for one another. So may the example, supreme example, supreme ex uh, sacrifice of the martyrs today Give us the courage to shine as a lamb, to shine for the truth, to sh be a light to those who are trying their best to find the truth, to be a light for those who may be lost, who may be stumbling, who may not be able to see clearly the way. So I'm sure uh, there is a hundred and one situation where we can be the lamb, where we be, can be the light that gives a little bit of brightness to the darkened situation that many, many people are in. So today's challenge for us is to be the light. We are not the light. Christ is the light. Eh? We are just shining a little bit from the Lamb that God has given us. God has given us a Lamb at our baptism. Each of us receive a lighted candle at our baptism. So that is the light of Christ. And that is the light that we are asked to shine. Not hide it under something, uh, but shine. Let our faith shine. Let our love shine. Let our goodness share our goodness, our care, our concern, our generosity, our service. Let it shine so that everyone will benefit eh? and they will come to God, they will come to Christ. We don't draw attention to ourselves. If you look at the candle, the candle burn itself up. It is not going to preserve itself. It will burn until the end. So it's giving his, its life but in the process, it gives light. So in the same way, eh? Christians, we don't live for ourselves. If we live for ourselves, we are not never going to light the candle. Because once you light it, it's, it's going down and down. It will finish. So this is our calling, this is our, the challenge for us. To be the candle, to light ourselves, and to give ourselves for others. And that is the highest form of sacrifice, the highest form of love, as the martyrs today will testify to us. So may the martyrs pray for us, inspire us to give our life, to give our light to the people around us.
Bless are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. sisters and brothers that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all this holy church look with favor Almighty God on the offerings of your people and through the intercession of the blessed martyrs, grant that we ourselves may become a sacrifice acceptable to you for the salvation of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed mother, St. Andrew Kim and companions, pour out like Christ to glorify your name. Shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear your weakness through Christ our Lord. And Amen. so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth. And before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, myself, your unworthy bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Offer each other the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my Heavenly Father, says the Lord. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Nourish with the food of the valiant as we celebrate the blessed martyrs. We humbly ask you, O Lord, that clinging faithfully to Christ, we may labour in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, we are, our vocation is to be the salt of the earth and light of the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and proclaim the gospel of love. Thanks be to God.